Thanks for inviting us in. It is 6 o'clock and the polls are now closed across central Indiana. As we wait for the results now to trickle in, we've got a lot of election coverage to get through tonight. Yeah, we've had our crews at polling places all around central Indiana watching races here in Marion County and all across the state. And that includes the closely watched Marion County prosecutors race. The incumbent Democrat Ryan Mears is facing Republican challenger Cindy Carrasco tonight. And we're also keeping a close eye on that three-way race for Indiana Secretary of State, Republican Diego Morales, Democrat Destiny Scott Wells, and Libertarian candidate Jeff Maurer. Also, we are monitoring the balance of the U.S. Senate tonight, and also a three-way race. Incumbent Todd Young defending his seat against Democrat Tom McDermott and Libertarian James Seniak. So there is a lot to get to tonight. We've got live, comprehensive team coverage of the midterm elections. Jenny Runovich is at GOP headquarters for us. And our Emily Longnecker is focusing on the Democratic candidates. Meantime, Dustin Grove is looking at the balance of power across the state and the congressional races. In addition to Jenny, we have Bob Siegel who's in Hamilton County with the coverage there and as you can see there is Emily Longnecker getting ready for her report as well. We're going to get to all of that for you but we want to begin tonight with Sierra Putman who is at the Marion County Election Headquarters as the polls close tonight. Sierra? Well, as you know, the polls are now closed. And at last check, just after 5 o'clock, I was told that more than 144,000 people came out to vote just here in Marion County. And those votes are being tallied up at the different voting centers. But here, they're handling those absentee ballots. Just take a look. You can see the poll workers right now. They are taking those ballots out of the envelopes so they can be prepared to go through this machine right over here. Just follow me. That is one of the tabulation machines. That is where they are counting the information from those ballots. And I want to show you one more interesting thing. Take a look. This, these brown boxes, that's where they put these ballots after they go through the machine. Those are important because that paper trail, that's used if there's any challenge to the results and if they actually need to count them all over again. Now, we don't know how long they're going to be working here. They have a lot of work to do, but we'll be here with them. And we know people over um, watching at the different headquarters, like Jenny Runovich, they are waiting to find out who actually won these elections. Jenny? Yes, Sierra, I'm at the JW Marriott in downtown Indianapolis. This is where the GOP watch party will happen tonight. I can tell you that optimism is already high. I spoke with some Republican leadership just in the last hour or so before those polls close, and they feel that momentum has been swinging in their direction. They are confident they'll have a good night, and they believe that where they needed to have good voter turnout, they say they're hearing that they got it today. At that podium, you see behind me, there will be several candidates from some really key races. They are going to be speaking tonight. We expect them to arrive around 7.30 this evening, and want to show you some of those races we'll be watching especially closely. One of them is the race for U.S. Senate. Todd Young trying to win a, win a second term. Uh, we will also be watching the race for Secretary of State. Diego Morales, a former aide to then Governor Pence, wants to head up future elections for Hoosiers. And then one of perhaps the most interesting races, that of Marion County Prosecutor Cindy Carrasco, hoping to be the first Republican to win the prosecutor's race in Marion County since Carl Brizzy did it back in 2006. So tonight here at the JW, we will be following the candidates, the speeches, we'll bring you all of that, and reaction from Republicans as well. We'll be here for it all night, as will my colleague Emily Longnecker, who's following the Democrats tonight. Emily? Hey, Jenny. Yeah, this is home base for the Democrats here in Indiana, never more at Union Station. And and as to be expected, it's still kind of empty right now. Some supporters are trickling in, but again, the polls just closed. But state party officials tell me that many of the statewide candidates and many of the local ones are expected to come here to never more tonight. We know that Hammond Mayor Tom McDermott is expected to be here. He is running for the United States Senate against incumbent Senator Todd Young. His campaign tells me that he visited 
visited some polls today before some of the men he served with in the United States Navy came in to surprise him. We also know the candidate for Secretary of State, Destiny Scott Wells. She also spent the day going to the polls uh, before dropping off her son at school. And at some point, we know that incumbent Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears will be arriving here. We know that he spent also the day at the polls from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. visiting several uh, polling locations. That's a, according to his campaign, and we know a lot of eyes are on that race. You know, yesterday, a lot of the statewide candidates came together for a last-minute get-out-the-vote kind of rally. They started here in Indianapolis, and they finished in Hammond, uh, Indiana, where Tom McDermott uh, is the mayor. The big issues that they were talking about with voters are, are the issues that people are talking about all over the country, the economy, inflation, and here in Indiana, uh, Hoosiers talking about abortion abortion rights. Um, the campaigning is over now, and now it's time for these candidates to come here and see the results of all those campaign speeches and, and, and campaign commercials and, and visits to polling locations. We're going to send it back to you, Ann and Scott. All right, we'll be getting back to you throughout the evening. Emily, thanks so much. The polls right now are closed across central Indiana. But if you were in line at 6 o'clock, you can still vote. Soon we'll begin seeing those results. And we could see a good amount of votes coming out of Hamilton County tonight. Bob Siegel is there in Hamilton County joining us live. Yeah, Bob, so you've been out in Hamilton County. What's the turnout been like today on Election Day? Scott and Ann, it's been extremely high in Hamilton County. Uh, right now I'm in Fishers. And like we said, I mean, the, the voting just uh, closed down a few minutes ago. But before that, here in Precinct 12 in Fall Creek Township, but it was steady all day long. That's what we're hearing really from clerks across the metro area uh, saying that voting has been rather heavy today in some places more than others. The reason that it's been so heavy here in Fishers and in Hamilton County is there are some really intense and hotly debated local races like for school board in addition to the state and the federal races. The clerk uh, here in Hamilton County told me uh, a little while ago over 50,000 Hamilton County voters voted before Election Day. That's up about 23 percent from four years ago. Now, we've talked to clerks in other places also, like in Johnson County. Uh, the clerk's office says voting there was very heavy. In Hendricks County, polling places, according to the clerk, she said were super, super busy as voters there have turned out in heavy numbers. Now, exactly how heavy turnout is going to be, we won't know that until all of the votes are counted up. And based on the number of early votes, it could take a while to do all that. Ann and Scott, back to you. All right, Bob, thanks so much. Certainly there are these big races taking place across the country this evening that will decide which party will control Congress and the Senate. And there's a congressional race right here in Indiana that experts are looking at tonight. They believe that how the race goes here could give some insight in how the night will go for the fair for the balance of power across the country. Dustin Grove is here joining us in the newsroom live with a breakdown of some of these key races that we're watching on a national level. Hi, Dustin. Hey, Anne Marie. Good evening, Scott. Let's show you uh, the situation here in the U.S. Senate for the balance of power. 35 seats up for grabs here. We're also watching the battle for the U.S. House and control in the House. Republicans need to gain just five seats to take control and the eyes of the nation are right here on Indiana, specifically U.S. House District 1, freshman incumbent Frank Mervan being challenged by Republican Jennifer Ruth Green. Now, this district has been held uh, by Democrats for more than 90 years, but after the district was redrawn, it's now considered more open territory for Republicans, and some political analysts are saying, in fact, that this is actually a toss-up. So if this district, Scott and Anne Marie, goes red, goes Republican tonight, political experts say it could be a sign of big trouble for Democrats Democrats across the country. It's a bellwether early this evening across the country. We're going to be watching that and all of the races throughout the evening. We'll send it back to you. All right, it's going to be a busy night for you, Dustin. We'll look forward to your coverage in the newsroom tonight.